Okay, everybody, so I realized we never ended the vlog when we got into Rangeley, but we took a zero in that town. It was unexpected, but Corey wasn't feeling too hot. He feels better, so we are starting Saddlebacks today, but that is gonna be for the next vlog. and welcome back to another Let's Trek Together video. We are here at the trailhead that goes into Rangeley and we are climbing Saddleback Mountain today, which I have been looking forward to forever and we're super excited. It's beautiful, there's not a cloud in the sky and it's warming up really nice, so let's go. Hey everyone, so we're going over Saddleback today and we've been waiting for this moment for a while, so we're very excited to see it. I hear this is some of the most beautiful parts of the Appalachian Trail. I feel like I've said that a bunch of times, but I'm wondering if it's gonna beat our white experience. But I know people say that they like the big lows even more than Saddleback, and that's the mountain chain after. So this next stretch and the stretch after are gonna be stunning. Honestly, the rest of the Appalachian Trail is gonna be absolutely stunning. So let's go. Why is it? that every single road crossing is immediately like straight uphill. For once I'd like to cross a road and it'd be flat or down. Down would be nice. <laughs> it's so steep right off the bat. Holy cow. <sighs> All right, so right after I stopped complaining it flattened. <laughs> so I take it back, I guess. I don't know. So the climb up Saddleback doesn't actually look that nasty. We're going over Saddleback, the Horn, I think it's Saddleback Junior. None of the climbs look terrible. And the climb out of the parking lot, it's not really a climb. It's pretty gradual for the first two or three miles. I think we're gonna hit a pond or two on the way up. So let's see it. Okay, so this is our first view above Treeline, making our way up Saddleback. If you can see back there, that's Moose Look Miguntic Lake. Uh, and over there is the town of Rangeley, and that's where we took our zero. And the leaves are just getting more and more vibrant. Very excited to see what this looks like in a few days. Okay, we made it on top of Saddleback and it is clear as clear can be. And now we are taking lunch. Yay. Yeah, that is true. The winds are amazing today. They are non-existent. The best part about days out of town is you get sandwiches and healthy stuff for lunch. Isn't this amazing? What? Okay, so we just got over both Saddleback and the Horn. Literally, the wind has been absolutely perfect. There has been none, so. Um, it's been nice and warm today. It's been in the 60s. Perfect hiking temperature. Sun feels nice and warm. Um, leaves are coming out. It's just stunning. Last thing we have to do today is go over Saddleback Junior, and then we are going down to the lean-to. And we're gonna do a short day today, clock it in around 11 miles, so. Let us get over Saddleback Junior and then let's get to camp. All right, made it to the top of Saddleback Junior. Too steep for no reason, but we did it. And now we go downhill, yay! So we made it to our camp for the night. We got a lovely fire going, courtesy of Light Walker here. Ooh. And uh, we're gonna call it a night. We're eating dinner, chilling by the campfire, and getting ready for another exciting day of hiking tomorrow. Go 
Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are on the trail and going. It is a lot warmer this morning than it was yesterday. Thank God, so it's a little easier getting up, even though we spent more time in camp than we usually do, but we had a lot of people camping with us, so we were being social before hitting the road. We got a 14 mile day, not too bad. We're gonna try and do a peak that's actually not on the AT, but it's off of it, called Sugarloaf. So you'll get to see that and all the other views we're doing today. Southern Maine is such a butt kicker. It really is beautiful and the views are rewarding and there are flat sections which helps with how much it is so straight up and down. So then when you get a flat section you really appreciate it. But there's a lot more flat than I thought there was going to be because everyone kept saying it was just like up and down and up and down. And yeah, but in between there's some really nice sections. So we're here at the Spalding Mountain Lean-To for lunch, and this is eight miles in. Fun fact, we haven't mentioned this yet, but in Maine, the shelters are called lean-tos. I don't know why, but the name of it changes. They're basically the same, but a lot of the lean-tos do have the space in them in between the shelter Where you fall and there. Into. I guess maybe to prevent like animals from getting at your packs or something, but I mean, there's a hole right there, so I don't know really what it does. Okay everybody, so we just finished lunch and now we are going over Spalding Mountain. We just actually passed the Blue Blaze to take up to Spalding. We're not doing it. It's only 150 yards up. Someone's gonna yell at me in the comments, but we're not doing it because it's a wooded summit and I'm tired, so we're not doing it. Um, I know we were originally gonna do Sugarloaf. It's about a half a mile off the AT. It's cold today and that's a very exposed summit. I don't think we're going to do it just because we're not making the greatest time today. We took a little too long during lunch. And honestly, at this point of the through hike, we're tired. So there's all of our excuses right there for you guys to listen to. All right. So look at this plaque. This is commemorating the last part of trail that was completed. And it is the last 200 mile Oh my God, it's the last 200 miles of the Appalachian Trail. So we are now under 200 miles to the end. Woohoo! Remember when we were 500 miles to go? Where was that? Vermont. Oh yeah, now we have 200 left. That's so sad, but also so awesome. Let's kick butt. Oh my God. Follow her. All right, right now we are making our descent on the Carabasset Valley. Actually, we're going up right now, which is very strange, but we are going down. It's looking beautiful. The fall is making this area look even more stunning than it already is. Gotta love it. So that view you just saw there is um, a little marsh that's right by our campsite and they say that it's a good place to see moose so this is prime moose time and I just went out there but no moose maybe tomorrow morning hopefully <laughs> uh, I really want to see one I think it would be really cool um, in a very safe way but yeah I guess we'll try again tomorrow morning or sometime later on in the through hike hopefully we see one all right hey everybody so we got to camp and that is why I don't have a backpack anymore, and that is also why I have my cold gear on. Um, made it to camp, camping again with Lightwalker. He had a fire started when we got there, so that guy is the man. He is so awesome. Thank you, Lightwalker, for just hanging with us and doing this stretch with us. Um, beautiful campsite, about 0.2 from a water source, so that is where I just was. Um, we're about seven miles out of Stratton, where we will be getting to tomorrow and taking a Nero. Um, hopefully it is a Nero because every single time we said it's a Nero, we've ended up taking a zero there. We are bad people, but honestly, we're enjoying Maine. We're loving just 
taking our easy time through it, so can't be mad at that. Um, looks like it's gonna rain. I don't think it will. I don't think it's in the forecast for another day or two, but the skies are not looking too hot. So we will catch you guys in the morning. Again, we have a seven to town and then we'll probably be ending the vlog there. So see you guys bright and early. Good morning, everybody. It was a super windy night and now we are headed on our seven mile day into town. We're going to the town of Stratton to resupply, laundry, shower, and sleep in a bed. Let's go. Okay, so sorry guys, we did not get any footage of us summiting South Crocker. The views are okay. They weren't anything spectacular for a 4K, but um, we saw a really nice angle of Sugarloaf. Looks very beautiful. But now we are going over North Crocker, so we will make sure to get footage of this mountain. And there it is, North Crocker Mountain, elevation 4,168 feet. I am not sure if there's a view, so sorry to the viewers. Oh, it's apparently that way, so let's go. Well, never mind. There is barely a view. Um, it's out that way, but sorry, South Crocker had a better view. I think we're gonna get views on the way down. At least that's what Molly said. So let's make our descent. All right, two thousand miles. Woo! Woo! It's really sad. It's, it's really crazy. Sad. I can fold my pants over mine. Can you braces? Thank you, Kyle. That's the information we needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've officially done it. We have hit the 2,000 mile marker, meaning we have hiked 2,000 miles since Springer Mountain, Georgia, and oof, I haven't felt very emotional on this through hike, but I'm starting to feel it now. <laughs> um, it, it feels really crazy. It feels really, really crazy. Um, for the past month, I feel like I've been reflecting a lot. Um, ever since we hit Vermont and realizing that we were in the last stretch of this through hike, uh, I would be in the tent every night looking through photos and videos of just the collection of everything that we've gotten on this through hike. And it feels like we just started, but 2000 miles later, and I feel happier and stronger and healthier and just excited to go back and conquer my life and do everything that I want to do and, and enjoy every single moment. Um, thank you to the Appalachian Trail for just making me a happier and stronger person and what a, an adventure of a lifetime. I cannot believe we just hit that 2000 mile marker sign. I feel like the end is just kind of snowballing. We keep hitting these markers and the counting down and it's ending so fast. I feel like we had the main borderline and then the 200 miles to go. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Now we're at 2,000 miles. Um, I don't want it to end. I'm cold, so I'm gonna be happy not to have to walk every day in the freezing and weather, but there's nothing like being out here. This descent down Crocker has been so, so nice. Not a single technical rock to go down. Just beautiful, beautiful forest hiking. And we are about half a mile away from the road, and then we're gonna go into town. All right, hey everybody, we never ended the vlog. Um, we took a Nero in Stratton, or I guess it was Eustace, one of the towns. Um, we stayed at the Spillover Motel. It was very nice, we got a shuttle back to the trailhead, and now we are going to start the Bigelows, but that's gonna be for next episode. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe catch us in the next video going over the Bigelows and heading towards Katahdin. And as always guys, let's trek together.